Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I generated 2,303 buttons all with code. I made the assets a custom coordinate system, functions to instantiate new pieces, and logic that determines what pieces to be placed based on their location. By watching this video, you'll learn how to remove the manual part to making tycoon games and how these games actually work. I started by making these assets to use in the game. I was still planning the functionality, so designing all the pieces helped determine what I would need to program. Next, I had to find a way to place all of the pieces on a grid. Each tycoon base square had a side length of 240 studs, which is Roblox's unit of length. Dividing 240 by 5 equals 48, meaning I had a 48 by 48 grid of 5 by 5 tiles. So, in short, I had 2,304 5 by 5 tiles for each game piece. One square had the claim sign, so each tycoon would have 2,303 upgrades. I then assigned a coordinate and a button number for each point on the grid and used a rotation matrix to make a rotated copy of the grid for each tycoon. Finally, I experimented with placing the assets on the grid and generated this, where I covered all the tiles with the dropper asset. This was incredibly satisfying because I wasn't sure if this strategy was going to work, but sure enough, I was able to place assets on the grid. Now, I just had to figure out what to place. For that, I sketched out what I wanted the finished tycoon to look like. I found patterns in the type, position, and rotation of each piece, and used the modulo operator in this script to determine where to place the piece. The modulo operator returns the remainder of division. For example, 19 divided by 5 equals 3 with a remainder of 4. The modulo operator would just return 4. With this in mind, I created this huge conditional tree to determine what piece would go in each spot when I call the function. And that's how I made this procedurally generated Roblox Tycoon. If you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe and leave a like to support the channel. In my next video, I will share my monetization strategy that made thousands of Robux and show you how I use calculus to determine the prices for all the different upgrades. So if you want to learn how to monetize your own Roblox games and make money developing games, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.